Hello, my name is Ray Wright. Welcome back to London Beautiful Life. Today we're here at 25 Years of UK Garage at Leicester Square. Before I got into um, sort of movies and acting, um, I used to promote clubs around the world. So um, Jason, Kay and myself um, started Garage Nation October 97. Right. So this is their 25th year anniversary of Garage Nation. Obviously we sold it 2003, yeah. um, but you know, James has took it on and he's just took it to bigger things. So, uh, you know, it's amazing that it's still a brand that's still going. Yeah, like 25 years on and it seems to be growing still. So it sounds like a long time. Right? <laughs> sounds like a long time. Time, but it goes like that, right? Yeah. yeah. And it, what, what's nice is there's new people, there's there's new uh, faces, you know. It's it, and, and and I think with this documentary, it's just going to reignite the scene. And obviously, with everything that's going on, I think the scene definitely needs an injection of some in adrenaline to get things all going again, you know. So, are you excited about tonight? Uh, yeah, really excited. We uh, I think we did this what nearly two years now. Okay, so it's yeah, yeah. good to see it, you know, yeah. come out. Yeah, what about yourself, mate? Yeah, excited to be a part of it, you know, it's been a long journey with Garage in general and it's good to see the scene still thriving and that, so yeah. yeah. So obviously Garage has grown a lot over the past 25 years, like where do you see it going, like, in the future, like? Uh, I think it's, we're on another generation now listening to the music, so those kids that were too young to experience what happened yeah. back in the day are now old enough to, you know, gather and rave and hopefully it will go again and, you know, just keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about yourself? Yeah, I think that pretty much sums it up, to be honest. I think, you know, just next generation coming through, enjoying the garage and, yeah, we're kind of here now. I think this is a second wave, you know. What are you looking forward to the most? Really reminiscing, really, and 25 plus years in the game. Yeah. It's going to be great. I can't wait to see the faces, meet faces that I haven't seen for a long while. It's going to yeah. be a fantastic night. Yeah, Love that, it. yeah, it's a massive reunion, so that is something to look forward to. Um, like, how do you feel about garage music? Like, in the past 25 years, it's changed a lot. So, you know, where do you think it's gone? Like. Well, it's always going to evolve. That's why it's been around for 25 years, you know. So some of us are the old school lot that are still going. Yeah. We've had some new school coming in and hopefully it just moves on and moves forward. Yeah. How have you seen Garage change over the years and what are you expecting in the future? Well, I mean, it's been a bit longer than 25 years, but when they say UK Garage, I suppose they mean more of the UK version of it because originally it came from America. Right. Um, uh, you know, for, they were playing house back at Studio 54 and places like that well, it was okay. originally a gay music I never knew that but that's, yeah yeah and uh, it, it just came over here and then a, the crowd used to be mixed and then they moved on and um, it's just changed it went f it, it started off as house house and garage then it went into it mutated into UK garage and it then it was a bit speeded up a bit to get that more energy and then and then it went two-step where it started to go into two-step yeah, yeah. and then you've got all different artists coming along and changing it up as it goes along everything tends to go in cycles here in the UK and it just we're always changing things up where well, I think we're world leaders really in music because a lot of the underground stuff crosses over right right yeah you, you just yeah, dropped a lot came from garage mm. you just so, dropped a lot of knowledge for people i'm sure they didn't know that yeah um, but yeah so what are you most looking forward to tonight well i mean i've done the score on it as well um on my friend um they're over here somewhere around the back they're supposed somewhere, to be here yeah. but yeah, yeah. we've done the score for it and i also was a director of music on it as well right, okay. so that's I, exciting see yeah just want to see what it sounds like yeah in a, on a bigger sound system rather than the little speakers in the studio. Yeah, of course, it makes a massive difference. Yeah, yeah, so, that's, that's good. So that would be nice. Yeah. I mean, I've seen it a hundred times, literally. <laughs> By the time we're doing the edits, you're like, oh, yeah, here yeah, we yeah. go again. But yeah, it's, it's going to be exciting. Yeah, it's, it'll, it'll be a laugh, and to yeah. have to have all the other peers in now as well watching it. I think that'll be good fun. Yeah. And there'll be some right nutcases here tonight, so... Yeah. What are you, like, most looking forward to tonight, then? Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the footage. I haven't seen the footage, I think, in the last five years. I think it was done five years ago. So I'm going to see what I looked like five years ago. Yeah, well, that's quite, yeah, that's interesting. Things change a lot. Um, obviously, garage music's changed a lot over the past 25 years. Um, what are you expecting from garage? Do you see it still plummeting up or going down? What, what, what do you expect? I see it going up and I see more artists coming through, more new songs, and just call it progress. And obviously uh, UK Garage has changed so much over the years and it's still growing. Where do you expect it to go in the future? I think it will still always be a mainstream part of UK music. 
you know, DJs, well, as long as DJs are playing it, it will continue. And as long as you've got the old school crowd and you're getting new school crowd as well, it will continue to, to flourish, I think. Yeah. So what about yourself? Have you got, um, you got bits coming up? you got work coming out? Yeah, yeah. I've got a couple of tracks with Jason K. I've got remixes with Sweet Female Attitude. There's a lot of stuff that kept that we kept held down because of lockdown and whatnot. So the next year, I expect quite a few bits. What about yourself? What you got coming up in the future? Well, that's funny, you know, because I'm rebranding MCP at the minute. I've got a podcast coming. Um, obviously, doing some shows. I do Land of the Legends, the events. We've done a festival of EZ. Still MCing. Loads of stuff, man. We've got loads. You're keeping busy. That's good. Well, obviously, we're looking forward to hearing it. Um, Christmas around the corner. What you got planned? Anything planned for that? Well, bookings are coming in. New Year's Eve. You know, I've left it to my agent. I don't really know too much. And right. I try not to hear too much because it all gets a bit crazy. But Boxing Day, Christmas, all the Christmas bookings. And yeah, loads of stuff. You know, the garage is always popping. Yeah. Everyone's got work. Everyone's busy, you know. Yeah. Um, are you right now keeping your foot on the pedal? Have you got stuff coming up on the way through? Or? Yeah. I've got um, I've got a new album coming out, which isn't Garage, by the way. It's um, it's a fully live album. Um, but I've also been working with Deneo, Perempe, Da Vinci. Um, I've been doing stuff with Bushkin. I've been doing some drum and bass stuff. You're busy. Yeah, really busy. So I've got lots of like dance stuff coming out, and I'm also um, on a new TV show called No Housewives in the South. That's I'll look out for that. Yeah, yeah, that's coming next year. So yeah, things are bubbling. Things yeah. are bubbling. Yeah. What are you most looking forward to tonight? Like. Ah, do you know what? Just to see some, maybe some untold stories. Okay. Maybe some things that we might have forgotten, yeah. you know, over the last 20, 30 years. Yeah. So yeah, I'm super excited to see who's involved, who, what characters are in the movie. Yeah, I don't know much about it, but I have lived it. So I'm super excited to see it come to life. What are you uh, most excited about tonight then? You know what, um, just seeing, seeing everybody, it's, you, know, it's, you know, apart from funerals, it's very rare that you see everybody. You yeah, know? So, massive reunion, right? And so it's a big reunion, I'm just happy to see everybody out tonight, basically. Yeah. I don't want to leave you out, what about yourself, what are you most looking forward to? Tonight? No, exactly the same, just like a night out, you know what I mean? Yeah. You don't really get night out, so yeah. it's just nice to see everyone together, really. And have a bit of fun, yeah? Yeah, no. yeah definitely. UK Garage has been going on for a long time, it's changed so much over the years. What are you expecting to see coming up the UK Garage? Like, in, 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 like, you know, in terms of popularity maybe or whatever whatever obviously I believe I'm a firm believer probably like many of us maybe a little biased but our industry helped birth a lot of others yeah. the future uh, genres like grime etc so just more evolution really um, the old artists the new artists Love, support and unity man keep it moving 100% I can't argue with that at all no yeah because we're we're very fortunate to be of an industry that is um, very minimal with regards to where we came from and it's globally known so to get the recognition that it deserves we're all going to do what we can bro. Coming up in the future, what we got coming up in the new year for yourself? Um, loads of things man, you know, so I'm getting my Denzel on now, I'm getting my, my Idris Elba going. That's what we like to hear bro. Yeah, yeah, so you know, just finished doing the Disney. You're getting it on tonight as well. Right? Yeah, we're trying that here baby. Yeah. So yeah, so you know, my acting is going good, you know, so I've just finished doing the Disney film right now. Um, and then um, I've got an academy just um, supporting up and coming artists. So I've got an, uh, an, an artist development academy, which I'm just coaching artists into the industry with performance and stuff like that. Um, I'm just doing a lot of things, yeah. but it's definitely in, in, always in twine with the music, you know? UK Garage has been going on for years, 25 plus. Um, what do you see coming in the future for the music? Well, at the end of the day, as I said to you, we've got something out right now could represent people are vibing off it. You know, obviously we've got the new edits in there, the new kind of, you know, the, the, there's elements of new school, mm -hmm. but you know, there's still elements of old school, but you know, we bring it up to date where it's, where it's, where it's palatable mm -hmm. for the masses. So that's, you know, it's hair, isn't it? It's, it hasn't gone nowhere. Mm -hmm. you got people like, you know, Bugsy Malone, mm -hmm. AJ Tracy, mm -hmm. you know, the likes of, you know, Chip, mm -hmm. like people all doing garage music. Yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? It yeah. hasn't gone nowhere. No, no, no. Do you get what I'm saying? So it, it depends how, you know, whether you classify it in a different, you know way yeah it's still garage totally yeah. you listen to like you know disclosure people like that it's still garage mm -hmm. you know so let's let's keep it real garage has never gone anywhere mm -hmm. you know one well, last question for you christmas coming up everyone's obviously looking forward to it are, are you of course i'm looking forward to christmas christmas is a time where we can all get together we can all celebrate and uh, you know we've had a tumultuous last couple of years due to covid so let's all celebrate life because you know some of us have lost brothers 
and sisters mm -hmm. and family members. Let me just say RIP to MC Blakey, RIP to MC Sparks, RIP to Wizard, RIP to Peter La Cosa Nostra, and anyone else that we've lost in this UK garrison. RIP to you and salutes. Your names will live on forever through us. Thank you.